Hi everyone, it is the best way to convert exponential growth to continuous exponential growth. We have given function f of t equals 245 times 1.25 t. We have to convert to f of t equals a e power k t. From given information, we have coefficient a. Coefficient a equals 245. We have coefficient b equals 1.25. But for our continuous form, we must have e power to k. So actually, we have to find the value of k. We can write equation 1.25 must be equals e to the k. Our goal k. It is exponential equation. We can take ln from both sides of our equation. ln 1.25 equals ln of e power of k. Now we will use power rule for exponential function. We will write k before ln e. We have ln 1.25 equals k times ln e. ln e equals 1. So we found k. k equals ln 1.25. Using calculator, you can find this value. It would be 0 0.223. Now we have initial value a. We have k. And we can convert our given function to the exponential continuous growth. It would be f of t equals initial value 245 times e power 0.223c. It is answer for this example. It is continuous growth form of our given function. The second example, we have to convert exponential continuous form to exponential form. Put into given information, we have f of t equals 115 times e negative 0.17c. We will convert to form f of t equals a b power of t. Initial value a absolutely the same for both form. So a equals 115. Now we have to find b. Using given information we can write b equals e power of negative 0.17. Using technology, you can find the value. It would be 0 0.844. Now we have all values to find exponential form. f of t equals initial value a, 115, times b. We found b. It would be 0 0.844. And we keep power t. It is answer. We convert our given equation to the form f of t equals a b power of t. You can see it is decay, exponential decay. Why? Because 0 0.844 less than 1. So it is exponential decay form. Example 3. Given information present for us exponential model for population in the USA. We have to find when will the population be 450 million people. So population must be equals 450. First step, we can create exponential equation and find solution using natural logarithm. 450, 306.8 times 1.011 C minus 2009. Now we have to divide it by 306 times 8.8, sorry, both sides, 306.8. We cancel out 306 on the right side, 
left side it would be 450 over 306.8 1.011 c minus 2009 now we can use natural logarithm so we will evaluate natural logarithm of both sides of this equation Using technology, we found value of this fraction, it would be 1.32. So now we can write ln 1.32 equals ln 1.011 c minus 2009. According to power rule for logarithm. We can take power and write before our ln. Now we will have ln 1.32 equals c minus 2009 times ln 1011. Now we will divide both sides of our equation by ln 1011 ln 1.011 we can cancel out in the right side and finally we will have c equals ln 1.32 over ln 1.011 plus 2009 using technology we can find this value it would be C equals 2034. So in 2034, population in the USA will be 450 million people. One solution, for example, for we will use exponential growth formula. Y of T equals initial value A times 1 plus rate R and power T. We have increasing process and we have rate 7%. So the first step from given information, rate 7% convert to decimal number, it would be 0 0.07. Initial value A, rabbits, it is 110. Now we can write our model for population, it is Y of T equals 110 times 1 plus 0.07c. Now we can simplify a little bit exponential function. It would be y of t 110 times 1.07c. It is our formula for population of rabbits. Now we have to find uh, rabbit's population in 15 years. So in the other word, we have to find value of function y of t when t equals 15. y of t 15 equals 110 times 107 to the 15th. It would be equals 303 rabbits. Example C, we have to find uh, how long we will take for the rabbit's population to reach 850. So the first step, we created equation, exponential equation, 850 equals 110 times 107C. Now we divide it by 110 both sides. 110 and 110. We will have 7.7272 and 72 equals 1.07c. Now, using definition of logarithm, we can find t. t equals 30.220. Example 5. For example 5, we will use exponential decay model. 
This y equals initial value 1 minus rate power time. Why? Because we have here decreasing process. So now rate equals 6.2 percentage. We can convert it would be 0 0.062 time t equals 15 years. And our value y current value equals 70,250. Now we can create equation. It would be 70,250 equals we have to find what was initial value. So our goal A. A. 1 minus 0 0.062 and time 15. It is multiplication here. So using technology, you can find value of the second factor. It would be 0 0.2. 28, 28, 6. Now we have linear equation 70,250 equals 0 0.2868. How we can find solution? We have to divide it by 0 0.382. 8, 6, both sides. 0.382986. We cancel out here. Using graphing calculator, you can find the value of this fraction. It would be 183,487.44. Four. Finally, answer it will initial value. We find the initial value. It would be 183,487 dollars and 44 cents. It is the initial value for our problem. Thank you for watching and see you soon.